All right, let's get straight to it. My name is Alex Ali, and I'm an intern at NASA. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, how did I get an internship at NASA? Or what is it like to work at NASA? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about both. While I'm at NASA, oh yeah, sub note, I'm doing this on my day off. So Elon, if you're watching this, just relax a little bit, man, cause you know, I drive a Tesla and I need to pay for it. So like, chill out with the layoffs, man. That's all I'm saying, please. Please. All right, let's get to it. All right, before we talk about what it's like being an intern, first we gotta talk about how to get the internship. So, there are two internships. You can either be Pathways or you can be OSTEM. Me personally, I'm Pathways, so I don't know much about OSTEM. But here's a chart that kind of breaks down both of them. And I just realized inserting a chart makes it seem a little too serious. But I want to let you guys know that I am not the spokesperson for Pathways or being an intern at NASA at all. I'm just a regular guy making a YouTube video about it. Because I think you can do it too. All right, before we get started, it's important to know that you don't have to be an engineer to work at NASA. If you look at this chart, you can see there are plenty of business opportunities as well, which is what I am. I'm a finance major, and as you can see, there are plenty of business opportunities to support the mission as well. So I'm sure you can fit in. All right, so how do you get the internship? Well, the first thing you need to do is know the requirements. Everything I'm sharing with you in this video is coming directly from the NASA internship page or usajobs.gov. So if you go to those, that will definitely help your chances. So in order to be a Pathways intern, you need to be enrolled in college. And you have to be seeking a degree in something that relates to the internship you're trying to get. And as far as GPA, you need at least a 2.9. But as always, the higher, the better but I'm sure you can get that. Just lock in and study. But those are just the general requirements. Now, you actually have to apply. So let's go do it. All right, applying can be stressful, but the sooner you prepare, the less stressful it is. Let's take NASA out of it for a second. And think of it this way, if you really want something, you would try to look into whatever it takes to get that thing that you want, right? So, there's nothing different with this. You need to look into the position that you want to get. And how do you do that? Well, you go to usajobs.gov. When you search up a job on usajobs.gov, there will be a duty section that breaks down exactly what they want to see you do. And that helps you greatly because knowing what you're gonna do is half the battle. Now, if you think your resume is weak, what you wanna do is build around these duties. Let's say you've never worked at a gym or you've never cleaned a gym or never been in a weight room. Well, make a resume or go do some things that will get you in positions where you've been in a weight room and you know what it's like to be there and then document that on your resume. This example is for recreational aid. I don't know quite what that is, but it's a job and you can be an intern for it. Much like NASA, everything's the same. It's just different companies and everything federal goes through usajobs.gov. Moral of the story is construct your resume around what they want to see you do. And that just helps you so much. Now after that and some time has went by and they finally call you or they should email you. When they finally email you that, hey, you made it past the first round of applications. Now, now it's time to get ready for the interview.
First and foremost, dress up for the interview. At least act like you want to be there. At least a little bit. And before the interview even comes, you should take some time to prepare for it. Even though you don't know exactly what questions they're going to ask, you still got to prepare for the most obvious ones. All right, next question. Can you please take up at three minutes to share an example of a time you played a role on a team and share some insight on how your role impacted that team? Go. Next applicant. You should definitely prepare for questions like that, but that's every interview. One thing that I think can help separate yourself is your why. Why do you want this interview? Why do you want to intern at NASA? If you are super geeked out about space exploration, find a way to incorporate that into you answering your questions. And then when the time comes, execute. Now that's just a little about applying, but now let's get to the fun part. What it's like to be an intern at NASA. And thankfully, if you're tired of me explaining it, I'm surrounded by NASA interns, so maybe one of them will help me explain. But for now, let's watch this movie. How would you describe your tour at NASA so far? So my tour has been so great. I feel like this is the busiest I've ever been, even comparing to like an 18 credit course load. Okay. But I feel like this is the most efficient I've ever been, time management wise and everything. So okay. I feel like it's been super busy, but super fun and great. Uh, absolutely incredible. Obviously you can see in the background, we're at the MBL. So that's like this is one of a kind in the nation, uh, maybe even in the world. So. Right. Um, it's absolutely like life-changing experience for sure. Right, um, right, right, right. It's like the center of human spaceflight, like right here in Houston. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. One word: astronomical. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. For sure. Like we're here at the NBL, so it's like yeah, hey, crazy, yeah. right? I mean, it's like it's on, it's only fitting, man, because this is like uh, uh, no a blessing. Like uh, for me, right. it's a, a childhood dream come true from like you know watching. Uh, astronauts and everything on PBS on Nova, you know, okay. and, and actually like, you know, actually being a part of history, pretty much being part of, you know, science okay, cool. and, and, and innovation, man. Yeah, I feel know, that. I feel that too. I feel that for sure. What is one thing that you know now that you wish you knew when you were applying? So one thing that I wish I knew when I was applying, applying, I know a lot of people talk about imposter syndrome. Okay, yeah. So coming into this inter internship, I feel like I was overcome with imposter syndrome. I couldn't get over it, but once I actually got into the nitty gritty of the things and I met a lot of the people, I met my program, my mentors, um, the community around me, the interns, I learned that NASA is such okay. a great community. There's no point in having imposter syndrome. Your partner, your mentor, your neighbor, everybody is willing to help you no matter what. And okay. it's just been the most welcoming community ever. That's and good. I'm so grateful. Yeah, me too, honestly. I'm, we're at the NBA. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. Let's go swimming. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I wish I would have known that I could have applied like uh, two summers ago, right. pretty much. Right. Uh, if I would have known, I could have been on a couple of tours and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know. So you think the earlier the better? Earlier the better, if you can. Uh, right. I mean, but like, uh, you know, things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it wasn't my time then, but it's my time now. You know, so all I see is like, look, hey man, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Well, only time. You know, old saying is, only time will tell. I think I wish that like I knew this is like an actual like real opportunity you could pursue you know like people think like oh going to space like oh working at NASA there's no way like that that couldn't possibly be me like that's you know but it it's real there's we're all like students we're all learners you know everyone comes from various different backgrounds and okay. um, yeah I think I think you should shoot for the stars like whether it's NASA whether it's space or uh, whatever industry you're in uh, but yeah man, it's, it's all real and you can do it. You can go do it. You can do anything. Yeah, you can do it. You can do you it. You can do it. There you go. That's good. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. All right, and there you have it. That's what it's like being a NASA intern directly from NASA interns themselves. 
do with that information whatever you want to do with it but i'll make a deal with you if this video gets 200 likes i'll drop another video on what it's like to be a nasa intern just for y'all so you got to let me know by liking this video and leaving a comment on what you want me to talk about in the next one and i'll do it but until then be sure to follow me on instagram at eight underscore ollie 15 and as always thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one